एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अकिला आनंद प्रैक्टिसिंग एज एन आई वी एफ कंसल्टेंट एट तामरा हॉस्पिटल राजाजी नगर बैंगलोर द मोस्ट कॉमनली आस्ट क्वेश्चन इज अस्तिनोजोस्पोमिया इट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन मेल इनफर्टिलिटी नवर एज वी आर सींग इन मेल पेशेंट्स सो नॉर्मली वेन द कपल्स कम्स वी डू सेमेन एनालिसिस एज ए प्राइमरी इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन मेल पेशेंट्स when the count is less than 30% of the motile sperms we call it as asthenozoospermia see normally when the uh, fertilization to take place the motility is very important see who criteria says if the count is less than 15 million that is known as oligospermia and the, when the motility is less than 30% it is known as asthenozoospermia when the normal forms are less than 4% it is known as teratozoospermia when the husband semen analysis report when it is not matching to these criteria that male patient requires certain medical treatment or some surgical treatment when husband is given sample we look for the motility count and morphology motility is seen through the microscope if the motility is less than 30% and the total motile sperms are less than 40% such patients require medical management So to achieve a good IUI success rate the motility should be more than 30% and the count of the sperms should be more than 5 to 10 million to get a good success rate high motile sperms are very important because it moves towards the egg and fertilizes when the motility is low sperm fails to reach the egg and the egg degenerates after certain hours so what are the factors that affect sperm motility The most important cause is stress, increase in alcohol and smoking, and uh, change in lifestyles, exposure to excessive heat, and health condition of the male. Even after giving medications, if there is no improvement in the semen analysis, if the motility is only between 30 to 40 percent, patient can try for IUI. If the motility is less than 30 percent, then patient. should go for ivf even after certain medicines certain treatments if there is no improvement in the motility then definitely patient has to go for icsi cycle yes icsi is the treatment of choice for a male infertile couple with very severe oligospermia asthenozoospermia and teratozoospermia even with azoospermia however if the male patient is only having motility issues but count and morphology is normal such patients can achieve pregnancy through ivf or iui cycle however if only motility is the issue for male patients patients can achieve pregnancy through ivf or icsi if their uh, sperm morphology is normal and count is normal we at tamara hospital successfully treated male with fertility issues we have many patients who have conceived with low sperm count low motility and with teratozoospermia we have many stories to share so i request the couple with male factor issues can come and consult me at tamara hospital and ivf center